Hey, it's Anaya from Glam Graphics. I'm back with another video. Today I'll show you how I made this real estate flyer. I'm using Canva Pro, so if you don't have a Canva account, check the description below. I'm starting off on Canva with a canvas size of 1080 by 1080 PX. First, I'm gonna add the background. So I go to elements, I typed in real estate and click photos. And I found a photo that I like for my background. So I'm just going to add that and resize it to fit. Now that I have that, I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to add two separate squares. One this light um, blue color and then the other one black. I'm going to resize and tilt those squares and uh, change the transparency and those are going to be my background overlays. The transparency for the black square is 73 and the transparency for the blue square is 70. Now you should have something like this. Now I'm going to tilt and resize them to get that triangle effect. On this part, make sure you're taking your time and you're zooming in to make sure that you don't have the squares overlapping each other. Especially if you have a light color and then black for the other one, you'll easily be able to see the overlapping when you go to print it. Now I'm going to go to my uploads and I'm going to add the image of the woman I'm using. I got this picture off Pinterest. Okay, so now I've added the image. I'm just cropping it and going to resize it a little bit for me to cut it out. Because I have Canva Pro, it's way easier for me to do my background remover. If you want to try Canva Pro free for 30 days, the link is in the description. If not, I'll put up um, some free resources that you can either use on your phone or your laptop to cut out your images. If you would like a more detailed description on how you can use those resources to do your PNG cutouts, um, let me know in the comments and I can upload that video. But now all I'm doing after the background has been removed is just resizing it and getting the placement as close as possible to the original. Right now, placement isn't super important. As you go through and add more and more on your flyer, you'll be able to see what needs to be resized and moved around. So now I got my cutout and I got it in the general area. I'm gonna add another um, square and change the color to white. I'm going to leave the transparency at 100% for this one and I'm just going to tilt it and make it at a little angle so I can do the bottom section. Now that I have the background, I'm going to go add this gold badge that I found. It has this white background, so I just use the background remover. And then I'm going to resize it and tilt it a little bit and place it behind her head. Now I'm going to go add the title. I'm going to go to text and just add a regular heading. After I type Tiffany's, I'm going to change the font and resize it. I'm changing the font to holiday. I'm changing the size to 150. I'm going to go to effects and then add a shadow behind the text and change the color to black. I'm changing the offset of the shadow to 27. 
I'm adding another heading. Gonna resize it and type in real estate. I'm changing the font to Lavella and the size to 105. I'm changing the letter spacing to negative 42. Now that I have my main text for my title, I'm just gonna go through and copy and paste. The last thing to add to my title is the roof part. So I went to elements and typed in house and found one that I like. I'm keeping the roof exactly the same. I'm just flipping it so the chimney's on the other side. And once I do that, I'm just going to resize it and move it around and tilt it just a little bit so it looks right next to my title. I'm going to copy and paste the real estate text that I added earlier size it down and add my other text this part is going to be up in the right corner and this is where the phone number is going to be at I'm changing the font size to 13.9 once I do that and I place the text up in that right corner, I'm going to copy and paste again and do the phone number part. I'm changing the text size to 25 and then lining everything up. Now I'm going to copy and paste real estate again so I can finish off my text. I'm changing the text size to 41 and the line spacing to 0.52. Copy and paste again. This is my little paragraph. I'm just gonna paste my uh, filler text that I have on the original. The font size is 19. The last part I need to do is just add the little bit of text that's on the bottom white part. The font size is 19 for the first line. Let's take our time. Can we go back, back, back to where 
I'm going to copy and paste one more time to do the URL. I'm changing the font size to 35. Last thing before I finish any design, I'll double check and make sure I don't need to move anything um, or resize. Everything is in the right spot. Everything looks good. Now that we're all done, I'm going to save it. Now you have this very professional looking flyer that you made yourself for free. If you still want to buy this flyer from me, it's available in my shop. Also, if you followed along with this video and made your own flyer, let me know in the comments. If you have any video suggestions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Let's take our time, yeah, yeah. Let's take our time.